Wild Choke TV Fast pre-show. I am so proud to introduce all of you to one of our official selections, Oddly Popular. Did I say <laughs> Oddly Popular. Um, I thought that was such a great, great project. I am so uh, proud to have it as part of Omnicultural TV Fest. It was created by no other than Carissa Gallo, who's a writer, and uh, she plays the role of Bridget, too. So she did a couple of things. It's so hard to do so many things at the same time, right? <laughs> and she has her beautiful cast here, the odd girls. <laughs> <laughs> Didi Sorbino, she plays Evelyn, and Didi Sorbino is an Emmy Award-winning television and radio personality. She has appeared on numerous national and international radio and television programs on Comedy Central, CBS, and Morning Show, The Talk. Wow, Didi, you got it going on, girl. <laughs> Just having fun Say and hello. living the life. <laughs> Say hello with your Kentucky Derby hat today. I won. I heard you won. Is that true? Of course, won. Yeah, I'm sleeping in my hat. I'm wearing it 24 7. <laughs> and we have Kirsten Lundberg. Kirsten Lundberg who plays Erica. She is also a comedian. Oh my God, you're a stand up comic like me. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. I mean, kind of. Are we really stand up comics anymore? Any of oh, us? Oh, now we're a quarantine comic. That's what we are. <laughs> You know, I was talking to other, I was talking to other comedians that we should create like this drive to your house and do jokes. <laughs> <laughs> a joke for me, a joke, what would you call it? a joke mobile, a joke mobile. And we could like have comics and they can go <laughs> and they can do their comedy. But yeah. um, Kristen, I'm sure yeah. you're going crazy. Aren't you going crazy with this pandemic, not being able to do your comedy, right? Heck no, no, I do other things. I that that stand up comedy doesn't really define me. That's so I have other I have other prospects that make more money actually. So. <laughs> oh, I want to know about I want to know about that one, girl. I want to know about that one. <laughs> I don't I don't need she, stand up. She, she does bad. ice sculptures. How about that one? Can you do that? <laughs> None of us can top that one. <laughs> <laughs> and we also have Kirsten Morris, who's a theater. Oh my gosh, she's a thespian. Across, yes. She has appeared All across right. North America in theater shows, Fiddler on the Roof, and she was nominated Best Lead Actress in a short at the Indie Gathering Fest. Congratulations, girls. So what was the inspiration for this oddly <laughs> popular project? You know, I, I saw a reality housewife show and I had to laugh thinking that I could never be on a show like this because, you know, I'm closer to a size 12 than a size two and I shop for clothing at Target. And I thought if I have a, a designer handbag, all my money would have been spent on that. I won't have anything to go in it. So I thought I wanted to come up with a funny situation where uh, people like me could accidentally end up on a show like that. and. I've done a little bit of stand-up comedy too and wanted to find a, a way to pack as many jokes as I could in a short amount of time. And that's I what we got. It. Yeah, I loved it. So basically it's about these oddly popular girls that basically kind of work for these housewives, correct? Yes, and, one of them is a personal assistant, yes. Right, and so they kind of take, they kind of steal the show, right? <laughs> that's what they usually do, correct? Yes, yes. It, it, they kind of fall into it backwards and it, it snowballs, uh, but it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Oh it's my fun. God. So then how did you get all these crazy women to, to, <laughs> to play with you? You know, it was interesting. Kristen Morris, my husband is a director and he had used her in other projects. And um, I met Kristen Lumberg doing a comedy set or two and uh, was suggested by another friend, uh, Jessica Wellington, I met at the comedy store. And, and then we also did casting. And, uh, I came across Dee Dee Sorvino, who was an absolute perfect kid. <laughs> um, she plays the evil Evelyn housewife. So she's like the, the queen of mean. She's and so she, good at uh, it. I'm not going to say she was a natural, but she fell right into that. And she just said, I'm a natural. <laughs> <laughs> I can say that now because we're good friends. <laughs> yeah, that's and, okay. She's right. <laughs> isn't, isn't it fun to play evil roles? I freaking love to play evil roles. I love Evelyn. Now, Evelyn is the best part in the world. I, I mean, it, this is going to go. It, it, it's going to land. You know, there are people already looking at it very seriously. And 
this is the best role. I can't even tell you. I'm so thankful for it. You know, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I feel like a Karen, you know, from Will and Grace or a Suzanne Sugarbaker from Designing Women. Or, These are the best roles in the world. Can't wait. Yeah. I love it. And Kristen Lundberg, how did you end up with all these crazy girls? Oh, yeah. Like Carissa said, she reached out to me and wanted me to audition. And I was like, yeah. And then she <laughs> said, come do it. And I said, okay. And then she said, there's money also. And I said, cool, <laughs> definitely I'll do it then. And, uh, <laughs> and there you go. Now, let me and ask you this. As a stand-up comic, it's a totally different art to be a... a um, an actor, believe it or not. People think that if you're a stand-up comic, you're automatically a great actor mm -hmm. or a good actor, but it's a totally different modality. Don't you find that it's like totally different? Uh, it is totally different, but I, I believe that stand-up comics make some of the best actors and actresses because they have familiarity with themselves. And so that confidence of going on stage and making your own decisions and doing your own script every single time kind of adds up. You get a overload of confidence and then you're like, <laughs> <laughs> Acting is fine. Acting is, wait, you wrote the lines for me? And I only got to say a couple of them in a row to the camera? Who, who do I look at? Okay, great. Let's go. Let's rock and roll. And okay. I, uh, I started off doing commercial comedy, actually, in Cincinnati, Ohio. So if you dig deep back in 2006 in some old Speedway commercials, you see me rapping about a speedy freeze and playing a song about it on my violin, which I also play during my stand-up. I have to get uh, a tape of that, okay? We have to get a tape. <laughs> so you'll never find it. You'll never get it. <laughs> Unless you pay her. If you pay her, you might. <laughs> yeah. Now, Kristen Morris, she comes into the role from theater to um to this kind of I would call it a sitcom. When you guys call it a a situation yeah. comedy, right? Yeah. Scripted. Yeah. So, um, Kirsten, how was it to jump from theater to a situation comedy? Was it, was it hard? It, was it fun? It was a really nice opportunity. Um, I, I originally started in musicals, which have a lot of that sitcom -y feel. Um, so it felt like a, a new but familiar way to return home in that sense. Um, and I moved to L.A. about five, six years ago. So um, it, was, it was something that I was excited to really fully get. Uh, a full pilot to, to play with um, yeah. and had a blast with all the women involved. Where do you guys see these, this, this project? Like if you could, you know, snap your fingers and make a wish, where do you see this fitting in perfectly? I think it would obviously go perfectly after a desperate housewife show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, think, um, <laughs> I, I could see it on a, a cable or um, a streamer, something with a little bit more freedom for the comedy. <laughs> Yes, so, um, yes. So I don't want to confine it too much, but to be honest, we'd be thrilled to go anywhere. And um, but I do see we have a, about ten episode concepts that are ready to go. I've I've written the the episode two uh, script, and uh, we're we're excited. We've Just had a lot of fun. Wow. So did you um when you went out and created this pilot, was it um a, a, was it in, did you invest in it? Did you get investors? How did you put it all together to be able to execute? Well, I um I happen to be married to the director. So. <laughs> that helps. <laughs> you're, sleeping, you're sleeping your way to the top, girl. Well, you know how <laughs> the writer I wanted to make sure I could call him a little bit. <laughs> but he um you know, I approached him about it and he, he read the script and uh, said, yeah, we got to do it. So um, we decided to just do it ourselves. I mean, I'm a writer and he's a director and, and we've both uh, done independent stuff before. So we produced it together and now we're shopping it around. Awesome. Now, um, girls, when you saw the final product, did you like, were you happy? Were you happy with it? Did you feel? <laughs> what are we going to say? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sort of happy with it. That was aw it was awesome. It was amazing. It was really cool. I went on a 72 hour bender. I was so happy about it. <laughs> I, mean, I went bar hopping morning, noon, and night. I know I love it. I think Carissa and Fred are a great team, and, and it's real. It's something that's absolutely going to go. It's an honor to be a part of. But, you know, Carissa is an incredibly talented writer, and you know, writers own the world. You know, you see a lot of these shows that are prime time, and they suck. The writers, 
But you know, I, Chris, oh. Chris, no, Chris knows what she's doing, and you know, and, and Fred too. I mean, they're just a great team. So the, this is yeah. this is look, Kiki, you got it right. I mean, the, this is the real deal. It doesn't yeah. seem like a little like pilot, does it? It seems like it's ready to go because it is. Exactly. Yeah. Now, what do you think the message in this project is? Because to me, <laughs> I felt like the message was, you know, um, super. Uh, uh, how would I say, people that are you know, self-indulgent and, you know, conceited and all this stuff. It's like versus the, the real deal yeah. down to <laughs> earth, you know. What do you think the, the message was? I, I think, um, well, first there's, they have such a huge following on these housewife shows. And it's, it's interesting to me because most women cannot relate to them. We look at them, but they don't represent what we are as people, at least not most, maybe Dee Dee, <laughs> maybe just a little bit of Dee Dee, because <laughs> she's experienced a little bit more luxury than I have, so. oh, but, um, yeah. but no, she's, oh, she's saying I'm the, I'm the witch, I know, it's okay, oh, that's, it's that's a, why I can be <laughs> Ellen, Ellen, because I really am like that, I, but she could relate enough to, to play the character, otherwise, I don't know that she could have really related, but I think the message is really there's more of us average Joes out there than there are of them. So that was the, the real thing is, is finding the imperfections of um, average people and making light of it and making them feel comfortable about it and knowing that they're not the only ones that, that have these problems and um, we're all kind of not perfect. Yeah, I loved it. So um, what are your projects up next? Like, what are you guys up to next? What is your next project or what are you working on you know we're we're actually still focusing on this one because we just want to take it to the next level we think this has a lot of legs and yeah. we want to investigate it and take it forward we've won uh, a lot of festivals we've won the jersey shore um Ooh. international film festival the new hope uh festival both for tv pilots the indie short fest for a pilot we are um, nominated for Long Island uh, Film Expo, TV pilot, um, and nominated for a few others that are still coming up and won a lot of awards. So we're just now starting to get it out there and get it seen. And um, so our energy is still focused on this. We're not ready to leave it yet. <laughs> we're, we're still kind of invested and we want to take it to the next level. So we're not even focusing on anything else but this right now. We're just trying to focus to get it made. Okay. When you yes. put your focus on it, it happens. I love it. Yes. And anything else you guys are up to? Are you um, performing anywhere? Um, yeah, you know, there's this YouTube channel that they said they're <laughs> hiring actresses for 20 bucks an hour it's a nine to five <laughs> actress for a youtube channel i went and saw the videos i don't know if i want to do it okay. uh, <laughs> how i don't know guys, how are you guys dealing with this pandemic are you like what would how are you getting through it well, I moved. I moved out of LA uh, to escape. So, so many in Indiana, people. so many in Indiana people. or Kentucky. See, Chris would know this because she's from Cincinnati. I'm not far from yeah. Cincinnati. It's open. <laughs> Everything's open. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeehaw! Go get you a drink. Go <laughs> oh, every day, all the time. And, and and by the way, you asked earlier, Kiki, which I think you should be, you should totally be on one of the episodes in the future because you have a DJ in your backyard. You should be Evelyn's friend, and we go and we invite the odd pops over, and they horrible, they're horrible. You know, they don't know how to act. You know, you know but it, I, I'm just saying. I mean, it's up to Chris, and she's like, I love oh, it. I think you would be a great, I, I would be a great addition. I would love to be part of it. You call me anytime when you're ready to roll. I would love to be part Mrs. of it. This is the boss, whatever she says. I mean, listen, listen, I'm, 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 I, you know, I started the Hot Tamales Live, which is an awful I know. <laughs> and, and I, I literally, it's so hard to make me laugh out loud. Like, it's hard for me to laugh out loud. Like, I'll go to see comics all my life. And, and I, I found myself laughing out loud with your project. And that's really oh. rare for me, you know, because I'm just so used to being around it that I just kind of keep my laughter inside, you know? <laughs> And I was like, oh my God, I have to call this girl right now and get her a show and, you know, showcase her work. And I was very yeah. proud. It was so unique and original. And um, I was really, really happy that you submitted to Omnicultural TV Fest. We're so excited to, to screen it. And um, so where is everybody? I, I, okay, so you're in Kentucky. You just came from the Kentucky Derby with the hat and the whole thing. <laughs> very proud of you. Sure. Kirsten, Kirsten where did you win? <laughs> Kirsten, where are you at? 
Which one? Christmas. <laughs> I was about to say. I was like, well. Uh, Morris is in LA still. Um, I'm actually a full time teacher right now, so you know, rocking the rocking the online learning. Okay. <laughs> We need you. We need you. We need you. <laughs> Doing my best, man. Doing my best. <laughs> That's awesome. And then um, Lundberg, where are you at? Yeah, I landed in San Diego. So I, I lost my ice sculpting job because of the <laughs> pandemic. And then I couldn't afford my apartment in Los Angeles. And I sold everything I own. And I'm living in a bedroom at my friend's house right now. <laughs> Until I can get my shit back together and get back out to LA. Girl, uh, nobody can get their shit. Nobody, just so you know, Chris, nobody can get their shit back together right now. <laughs> I'm sitting here refusing a nine to five actress job because I don't, I don't, listen, I, I put my heart into stuff. If I don't like it, I won't do it. I don't care what you pay me. Yeah. But some things I just won't do. So, you know, I'm, I'm picky also. <laughs> Well, listen, guys, it was so awesome to have you. Um, I am so proud of this project. Oddly Popular is going to make it in 2021. <laughs> <laughs> well, Thank you so end. much. Thank you for having us. Yeah, I love you guys. Thank and you. We'll, be, we'll be giving you all the info on, uh, on the screening of your project at the Omnicultural TV Fest in partnership with Natspeak. Oh, thank you. Thank hey. you. Hey. I love you guys. And thank you for being here. Kiki 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 K